Arkansas is known for its natural resources, from diamonds to coal mines and now possibly game-changing discoveries of lithium. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Rolly Hoyt. It's a story that's been most viewed on THV11.com since yesterday. A recent study showing southern Arkansas could provide new avenues for the country's lithium production. Tonight, THV11's Maya Ellison has more on what these findings could mean for the state and the whole United States. So anytime you can take a waste stream and recover something potentially valuable out of it, it's a real win-win. When you're charging your phone or even an electric vehicle, lithium is one of the reasons why. The renewable resource is one of the most valuable in the country as more and more states look for future energy resources. It's called white gold. Um, that's because it's solid and it's white and it's silvery and because of its potential economic value. What makes lithium so profitable? That's where the United States Geological Survey comes in an organization that has tracked the mineral supply and demand since 1879. With the Arkansas Department of Energy and Environment, a recent study revealed the possible discovery of somewhere between 5 and 19 million tons of lithium located in an area called the Smackover Formation, which includes a large portion of southern Arkansas. So our researchers were out actually collecting samples of this really salty water um, in the brines across the, across the region, and then they used modeling to uh, that included the kind of they, what they know about the geology of the area to estimate how much lithium actually might be um, across the entire state. Researchers say that much lithium is enough to replace all of U.S. imports of the mineral that are critical for our everyday needs. USGS official Alicia Lindauer says there's a reason Southwest Arkansas was the focus location. Arkansas, because this is where we've seen the highest concentrations of lithium. Um, this is also where there is active petroleum and mining activity, and that lithium can actually be extracted and removed from the waste streams of those activities. While the U.S. relies on imports from Chile and Argentina for about 25 percent of its lithium, these discoveries could help experts determine how the country can invest in developing the critical mineral. It's expanding out from where we are to better estimate our potential resources that exist uh, in kind of across the Smackover formation, across the Gulf Coast states um, as well. In Little Rock, Maya Ellison, THV 11 News. Maya, thank you. And Lindauer also told us that researchers are also looking for lithium samples in northern Louisiana. You can read more on all of this right now. We've got a story going on THV 11.com.